It is my pleasure to introduce Dr. Batman Galich. Dr. Batman Galich is a formally trained medical doctor who received his medical education and training at St. Mary's Hospital Medical School of London University. He has spent most of his scientific life researching the link between pain and disease and chronic dehydration. He discovered the healing powers of water 21 years ago when he was serving time as a political prisoner in an Iranian jail. And he successfully treated 3,000 fellow prisoners suffering from stress-induced peptic ulcer disease with the only medication he possessed, water. This is when he understood for the first time in medical history that the body indicates its water so shortage by producing pain. Since his prison experience, he has focused his full time and attention on dehydration produced health problems in the body. His discovery has helped hundreds of thousands of people suffering from a variety of pains and degenerative diseases regain their health. Dr. Batman Galej has presented his findings at several international and world conferences, and they have been published and peer-reviewed in a number of scientific journals. His findings are now available to the public in an easy to understand form in his four books and his videotapes and audio tapes of his lectures plus combination programs. These health education materials have been peer and media reviewed and acclaimed both nationally and internationally. He is the author of four books and they are Your Body's Many Cries for Water, how to deal with back pain and rheumatoid joint pain, water, prescription for a healthier pain-free life, and ABC of asthma, allergies, and lupus. It is my pleasure to welcome Dr. Batman Glitch. Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Patel, it gives me a pleasure to be here and present to you uh, once again, my view or my discovery that chronic unintentional dehydration is the primary cause of pain and disease, including cancer, in the human body. As you know, I discovered this uh, pain-relieving property of water in a stressful environment in a human laboratory, stress laboratory called Evin Prison, where people were involved, not animals or rats. They had tongues, they could speak, and they could indicate their relief, they could give out their symptoms, and one could evaluate the impact of water on their health and well-being. Evin Prison, uh, will probably be remembered in throughout future history that we are going to make out of that event. A significant turning point in the life of mankind. Not because it, uh, the authorities there killed a lot of people, but because they produced a stressful environment where the human body could reveal its stress-induced health problems and water could reveal its magical curative properties in stress-induced health problems. We are better off as a result of uh, what they did because of this discovery than anything that was done in research of medicine for the past hundred years. Because since a hundred years ago when we in medicine, my predecessors, uh, started looking at the science of medicine, the question was asked, uh, when is the body 
thirsty. A man by the name of Maurice Schiff, a Frenchman, said that thirst is a general sensation and tried to stress this issue that uh, we should look at dehydration through different perspectives in the body. Then there, there came a, a doctor by the name of Walter Bradford Cannon, an Englishman. He said, no, thirst is indicated by a dry mouth. When the mouth is dry, the body is thirsty. So we should drink water when we have a dry mouth. He was a very influential person, and the scientific community and the medical community bought 